I think as photographers, really, we're not as in control as we'd like to think. Like, we're holding a toy, but it's not our story. So if you ask me about any couple, 99%, I would remember the story, who they were, how they met, not always the names. A few months later, I was contacted by editors at Nat Geo, and they said, we love your work, we know you're a wedding photographer. How would you feel if we asked you to photograph an assignment about the Saudi women in the municipality elections? Who cares if our you know, streets are paved in black or red? Like, no one cares. It's not a big story in Saudi. It's just a big story in the Western media. And I hung up. <laughs> so I thought, OK, I have, again, a responsibility. I want to photograph Saudi women as they've never been seen before. It's my job. And I photograph this, and I post it on social media. And it has the most comments on all of my Instagram. And guess what the comments is usually? But how do they eat? <laughs> <laughs> and while I continue to work on this project that I think is very therapeutic to not just me, but all the women that are in this series, and I, I, I'm very passionate about them, I love them. They're like my daughters now. <laughs> And I also realize that as photographers, we have a fingerprint, we have an identity that if someone looks at the images, like before you said, this is a Victor Lax look, or, you know, I wanted to have my own look, that whatever I ask the bride and groom, they'll willingly accept and allow me. But I wanted to kind of share with you that I still tell everyone that I'm a wedding photographer first, 